Hi everybody, Alex the Ploy here from Expert Forex and in today's video we're going to be looking at a very, very special trading robot. One that finds reversals and has 100% success at trading them. So in this video we are going to discuss the most significant actual reasons for reversals in the market. And then we're going to have a look at the pound yen being traded on a very successful basis and and then we're going to be looking at the euro oz also being traded on a successful basis the pound yen is going to be traded on a daily chart and the euro oz is being it will be shown on a four hour chart and then after all of this we're going to look at some actions that you can take to take advantage of what we're going to be showing you in this video. Now here's an important disclaimer and I'm going to read it out. Uh, this video has been created as an educational and entertainment video aimed at creating and stimulating discussions around the trading strategies and techniques shown. It is intended as a mind and imagination stretcher for all traders. Because what you're going to see is quite unusual. The robot shown is not for sale, but shows what is possible when traders think creatively and apply a combination of charting and other information, technical analysis and other factors in a very creative way. So to appreciate this video and understand the ideas presented, please study the short term volume changes that I'm going to be mentioning and all the technical analysis reversal techniques. And I, will, I have a course on that. OK, so let's talk about how trends get reversed. So here is an example of a buy reversal. So the, the market is trending upward and this rocket over here represents the market movement and the force behind the market movement. Then suddenly a rocket is activated in the other direction, in the sell direction. This rocket is a lot bigger and has a lot more power. And that is, what, that is how a buy trend gets reversed into a sell trend. It's basically orders that come in that are way bigger than the orders driving the original trend. It's a massive order. And that's not just an increase in volume. It is an actual massive order either placed by a government or a huge institution. And the same thing happens with a sell trend. A, the trend is going on. It's been pushed by small orders, pushing it down. And then suddenly a huge big order appears, got much more volume, much more power and reverses the trend and it becomes a buy trend. So when these orders appear, they appear very quickly. They just hit the tick data that's coming in and you see this huge volume coming in on one tick and it happens very, very quickly. And there's a slight delay. The order comes in and then the market reacts and starts moving in the other. So you have a few seconds or that could even run into a few minutes to respond to that big order. Here's an example of what I've just been talking about. Here you can see the market going into a sell phase. And in fact, if you look at that candle, the, the sell phase took the market all the way right down there. And then a massive order came in and you can actually see it on the volume indicator. You can load the volume indicator onto your charts. There's a huge increase in volume and it reversed that sell trend that was down there. Just imagine at some point this whole candle was red and it just pushed it right up past past the starting point right to the top. That's the power of this, the, those huge orders. And then it reversed the trend in an upward direction. That's an example of volume impacting trend direction. When the trend's going in a certain direction, small volume will only slow it down. It needs the same amount of volume to stop it so it can stop it in the tracks. And then it needs the most powerful volume to reverse it as shown on this example. But this is what we're talking about. Volumes that come in and reverse trends. Now these sharp movements normally look like spikes. This kind of spike. Can you see that it's just got a wick and a very small body. 
But these spikes can are often disguised. They actually are, they often disguise as two candles. So you could have a candle going up like that, and then suddenly the candle goes red and goes down. Now, if you add if you add the two together, that's where the, ne the neutral spike comes from. They, these two cancel each other out, and that is what a spike looks like. It's actually an upward candle and a downward candle at the same time. And you add them together and they give you a big spike. And spikes are major reasons for reversals. The other important concept here is confluence. Now confluence is where two or more reversal methods happen at the same time. So in other words, uh, there might be a volume increase, but the price also might also be at a big support area like a channel line, like a trend line, or an area of support. And here's an example where volume changes and a strong support area, and this is, this is an example of a non-horizontal support area, happen at the same time, and that adds confirmation about the reversal that's going to be happening. Now, I, now yesterday I actually published a course a free course that you can download it's a pdf course so you can download it print it out or watch it on the screen it's all about entries identifying turning points identifying suitable exits which exits are actually just the reverse of entries the same type of signals can occur uh, uh, it talks about money management that's not all that important in terms of this one because it's almost got a 100% success rate, but you still need to position size appropriately. And it talks about times, the best times to trade. Now, the best times to trade is what this is all about because it uses mainly volume changes, but also the other uh, reversal signals as confirmations. Now let's go and have a look at this robot in action and unfortunately you're not going to see it in the minute detail that you want to because these reversal signals happen on a tick basis. So the tick comes in with a big volume and that's what the EA responds to and that is very difficult to show you. But we, I can show you the result of that kind of decision making and although I'm going to be using daily charts and four hour charts, the actual entry is based on a tick data motivation for entry. And here we are, we're on my testing computer and on your screen you can see two versions of the strategy tester open. And the one is testing the uh, the pound yen and the other one is the euro oz so let's look at the pound yen first so i'm going to show you things a little bit back to front and the reason for that is that back testing using tick data is extremely slow and as you can see on the chart this is an annual trading example and there must be about 25 trades that have happened here now can imagine that's an average of two trades a month imagine watching the chart using tick data it is extremely slow and you lose track of what's actually happening so what i've done is i've actually run this particular test in fact what i'll do is i'll run it again so um, i'm going to run this particular test once more Okay, and there it's running on a tick basis. We can look at the graph. Uh, you can see there are no uh, negatives there. All the trades are positive, and it's growing uh, very nicely. We'll look at the results later on. This, these trades are on a $100 account. Because of the high success rate and the need for small stops, you don't need a big account. So there we are. It's the, the, the test is continuing. I always like looking at the graph because that tells me what's happening. And let's have a look. It might be finished right now. Okay, there's the test is finished. You can see a nice smooth graph, nothing coming down. And then we look at the report. And here we can see we have started with a $100. Um, it's grown to $12,000, which in fact represents the pips because the uh, lot sizing used is 0.1 of a lot, and that more or less e equates pips. 
not exactly for the pound yen but close enough for this purpose so there's a, it's a lot of pips but the most important thing here is 100% success rate so there were 21 trades these 21 tra trades were all 100% successful and the reason for that is that the EA uses the volume based signals but it combines those volume based signals with the other with the other turning point techniques such as trend line bounces channel bounces uh, support and resistance bounces all those kind of techniques and uh, there you are so uh, fantastic results um, the absolute drawdown was only twelve dollars and the uh, maximum drawdown over all the trading was 280 the uh, profit was twelve thousand dollars so you can see drawdown to uh, profit is a fantastic ratio and also the absolute drawdown was virtually nothing so let's have a look at the trading on the chart so what you do when you after you've done a run like this you just open chart and there is the chart now this is on a four hour chart um let me make it a bit clearer take the grid away and reduce it a little bit to see if we can get the whole period on one chart no, we can't and a little bit more of a reduction there we go okay so we've got the whole period so this one ran from the first of October last year to the 1st of October this year one full year and that is where it started it went into a buy on a spike now as I mentioned these orders come in as spikes and uh, 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 these uh, these big orders often cause spikes and that's where you'll see a lot of these entries occurring and there was the entry on that particular uh, that kicked off there and then went up and you can see how it's catching the turning points and it looks a bit unrealistic on this chart but if you're sitting and watching a tick chart literally watch it because that's what the EA does it watches a tick chart and you and the big uh, the, the big order comes in you react immediately you've get, you've got about 30 to 40 seconds to react and then the market starts moving and and therefore the skill behind this is is not obvious but it's literally catching the turning points in the markets as you can see here um and let's see yep i think that's about as clear as it can get and then it doesn't rush into trade sometimes it says okay the turning point was so strong that i'll just wait for the next one so what happens this is a continuously traded systems you know you make an entry the target is in fact the, the entry for the next trade so if you're buying you get out uh, when a sell signal happens and then the sell uh, target becomes the next buy target so as you can see it's a continuously trading system there it went up uh, there the buy went nice and successful sell buy sell buy sell up there buy down there that's quite a big run that one and then uh, a, a, a buy successful buy successful sell and so on so that is how the EA trades and this is on a annual basis uh, 21 trades as you've seen and the success rate is absolutely fantastic now just to show you why I don't uh, use the uh, tick data I'm going to just run the visual mode on, on it on, on tick data and I'm going to move it I'll have to move it one across and we'll start that and just to show you how long it would take if I wanted to show you this on a tick tick basis so there you can see the trading's going on um, and unfortunately the speed is not very controllable you can either this is the second fastest speed that i can put it on but the next speed is extremely fast so i'm going to just move it one setting and there we go so now it's going so what happens if you if i wanted to show you the trading there's the first trade and you can see that it literally almost caught the turning point 100 percent 
Um, that's the first trade, but, but now the next one's going to take a long, long time to come through. And this is all that we're going to be looking at is the price chart going up and down, up and down for a very long time before the next trade. So that's why I showed you a summary chart of what happened. Oh, there's the sell. Okay, so you can let's let's watch this one for a few uh, minutes, and then we'll move on to the Euro Oz. So again, it didn't quite catch that perfectly. You can see it went over a little bit, but still a very very good, pretty good turning point identification. So it will trade like this for a, quite a while. Um, let's just watch it as I said can get pretty boring because that's all that it's doing right now it's literally waiting for a huge order to come in and then it will react to that order so that's actually what's happening it is uh, once it's made that turning point identification it very seldom is wrong as you can see it was almost wrong here uh, it, the, the market came back to the entry point but um, it, it, it waits and waits and there we are there's there's the new buy order that's happened uh, there's the buy there's the sell there's the buy so that's how it it carries on and let's just let's just wait for the next entry I'm trying to size the charts to make them look more um, presentable. And there it's now entered a cell. And there's a lot more than that goes into this trading method. Uh, there is an element of broker selection. You've got to find a broker with extremely good price feed and high rea re reaction time. And, and, it, and the price feed must also be very consistent with its volume reporting so there's a lot of little technical things behind this uh, technique but I have given you the basic concept so there we are we had a, a, a buy reversal a sell reversal there so we're seeing quite a bit happening so maybe I'll stick around it's been trading for approximately two months now out of the year In the meantime, the years, the profit, uh, profit reporting happening here, you can see profit, 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 um, based on a, a, a 0.1 lot. It's a consistent lot that's happening there. So, uh, and there we go. We've got another sell, and um, I'll, I'll just let it run for a few minutes. So we're into the beginning of December, and we've had one two three four five six transactions now the size of some of these orders are in the night uh, are in the nature of for instance when the japanese uh, the bank of japan intervenes and places huge orders to help their currency um, those are the kind of uh, orders that that one has to find identify very quickly and respond to because those are the big guys that move the market okay uh, so there's been a big sell phase that's happened here and look there's a spike not quite a spike there spike they it started off with a big spike but remember the concept of adding candles together if you add the candles together you'll find that the, those are actually spikes there and here's a very clear spike that's caused that one. And that's, that was a very strong reversal because the trend was extremely strong going south. And it must have been a huge order to reverse this trend. Incredibly uh, big order. And there's another one, another reversal that's occurred there. Um, and uh, we're now into the middle of December, two and a half months of trading. And let's just let it run. 
it's in sell mode oh it's now gone into buy mode another spiky uh, uh, formation there that's reversed the trend direction This is the fastest speed that tick data backtesting will allow. It's not too bad. It's uh, We've almost done three months, so that's not too bad at all. I'm going to let it run for a while. there we are another reversal uh, formation encountered and down she goes now one of the exercises that you can do to understand this concept a little bit more is to take the one minute chart and put the volume indicator on that chart so that you can see spikes happening and then what you do is you look back into history when the biggest spikes happened and then you look at the price action that happened after those big volume spikes happened and it, when you do this a lot you'll start seeing the trend that that develops with these spikes in volume and you'll start noticing how tradable these volume spikes are now this particular robot doesn't res uh, respond to any volume spike. It, it, it is very selective about which volume spikes it, it responds to. And as I've mentioned before, it likes to have some form of confluence. If you look at these entries that have happened there, you can see there's a support and resistance area there, there, support and resistance there there's a support and resistance there so it does use other methods to enter but and it looks for confluences and uh, it's, so it's not only the volume spike but uh, again here's a very strong support area and that's why it's confident about taking trades when it when it's at a support area and this is almost a perfect channel that's developing here um, there was there was a almost uh, 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 there was a very good channel almost so uh, you've got to look at uh, uh, support and resistance non-horizontal support and resistance trend lines and things like that take those kind of things into a chart into account now there it's at, at a support or resistance level but clearly it's not being ref uh, uh, reinforced by a volume signal okay so now we're into January not much further to go uh, another 10 months but let's go through the process interesting enough it, it most probably didn't encounter a volume signal now we are trading this uh, very conservatively we're trading on a hundred dollar account we're trading 0.1 of a lot so you, one can actually increase that considerably uh, due to the high success rate of this particular EA. I must just confirm that this EA is not for sale and I'm using this for educational and entertainment purposes. Okay, there's some volume coming in there. Let's have a look. So it also takes the um, current volatility of the currency wow. into account to, to assess whether the volume movement is suitable for reversals. Now just look at that, It's it uh, hasn't done a, a trade for a very long time. Trade was at the end of December, it's now almost the end of January and still no trade has happened. So, And, and that, that is why this is in fact a very boring <laughs> robot. It doesn't trade all the time, but when it trades it is quite accurate. Okay, I'm actually going to stop the trading now. We have to move on to the next currency. But I think you get the idea of how this EA trades, how very specific it is. You can see it's hardly gone. Um, it's hardly needed to uh, have a stop loss or anything like that. I just want to wait for the next trade to happen. Let's see when that, when that happens.
and then we'll move on to the to the euro Oz. Now the euro Oz is traded with a stop loss, so you'll see the the, the stop loss uh, on the actual charts. Oh, no, I think we can move on to the next one, and uh, we're just going to stop it. Okay, so we've seen the performance of the pound yen. Now we're going to the Aussie, the euro Oz. I'm only going to be testing that for July, August, September and half of October for, of this year, every tick basis again, and uh, let's have a look at that particular one. And again, um, here is a chart of the uh, results, and I'm going to just close it a little bit, see if we can squeeze it all in. And, th and there are the trades that have happened in the last three and a half months, and you can see here uh, a sell entered there, a buy entered there, and here's a little, a red stripe in f at the top of each transaction that actually re represents the stop loss so this particular one traded with stop losses and you can see the stop loss was never actually threatened and you can see that the stop loss is also very small and that's the beauty of this particular technique okay so entry uh, sell there buy there sell buy sell buy sell buy very very again same profile as we had with the previous one identifying the turning points extremely well let's have a look at the report when we look at the report you must remember that this is a three and a half month period and the return the profits were three thousand one hundred and uh, the absolute drawdown on the original capital was only three dollars and uh, the total drawdown uh, 150 uh, two dollars on a profit of three thousand one hundred so very good return on a hundred dollar account and again we see a hundred percent success rate wonderful return um graph is uh, as you see straight up and what we'll do is we'll just do most probably three minutes of actual trading on this particular one so let's do that we'll start that and again, there's the tick data. I'm just going to clean it up a bit, make it clearer. And uh, let's see how. And I'm going to make this one a little bit faster. Oh. And this is what happens. It, 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 it does, there's a big difference between the next setting and this particular one. So you can't really. I'm actually going to stop this. It's too fast. You could, it's really pointless watching this particular one. But what I will do is I'll rerun this particular test. I'll just rerun it and uh, we can then look at the chart afresh. Because that's, I, I like doing that too. Um, uh, it's, it's a quick way of getting a chart that you can look at. So there we are, we've got our results. There are the results that we looked at earlier. And remember, if you want to look at the chart, you just say open chart, and there it is. Now, remember, this chart is in a one minute format. And uh, what you, the beauty is you can actually change it to any format that you want. And you can condense it and uh, see all the, all the trades in one go. Uh, you can remove the grid to make it clearer and there we are and if we want to we can steal a bit of room here and make it make it look quite nice but i think you get it you've got the idea behind this ea very accurate identification of turning points 100 percent success rate really and you can trade it with small amounts and very small stops i must unfortunately reiterate that this robot is not for sale it is purely for educational and entertainment purposes. Okay, let's move back to the slides. Now, I have shown this already. Just a reminder, most of the concepts used by that trading is me are mentioned in this course. That's a free course. Turning point side is very important, uh, and the entry side and times of day, very important. So uh, just a reminder to go and have a look at this course. And then what actions can you take 
from now on. Firstly, I'd really appreciate it if you share this video with other traders and also give it a good like and and if you're not a subscriber obviously subscribe because don't miss any future videos then as i've mentioned before study the volume spikes on historic one minute charts to give yourself a feel of how powerful those spikes are in reversing the direction of the market so if, if the market's coming down and you see this huge spike it generally will reverse the mark the next thing is try and trade them so what you would do is you'd actually make a note of when the time of day when these spikes happen make a note do 20 of them say so, oh they see all seem to be happening around about this time of day then what you do is you go and trade the one minute chart using that information at a time that you've determined when the most spikes happen trade it on a demo account actually enter deals and see how that goes you have to do it trading is like playing golf or swimming you cannot learn it from watching a video or reading about it in books you have to go and do it yourself that way your experience increases tremendously and you appreciate the intricacies of trading then study that simple and easy course that i've mentioned before in the previous slide and also please turn uh, uh, turn this into a discussion video please make comments on the youtube comment facility i will answer the comments other traders will answer the comments and hopefully we can get some discussion going on this particular video there's a lot of discussion where you could debate what other turning point methods are being used and what your personal experience is in trading volume spikes and other turning point techniques just remember the disclaimer i'm going to read it again because this is an important one this video has been created as an educational and entertainment video aimed at creating and stimulating discussions around trading strategies and techniques it is intended as a mind and imagination stretching process for all traders the robot shown is not for sale but shows what is possible when traders think creatively and apply a combination of charting and other information and factors in a unique way. Links to items mentioned in this course will be in the description of the video as well in the, as in the first commentary of the video. Now I hope you've enjoyed this video. Now I hope this video stimulates some actions that you can now go and apply and experiment with to get better results in your forex trading i look forward to uh, to comments and debates in the youtube comments facility so from me alex ploy cheerio